So this is a Sony VAIO TX360P, and it, um, it's a pretty random computer from 10 to 12 years ago. It has an Intel Pentium M. It originally had 1 gig of RAM, I believe. I've since put in 2 gigs of RAM because I have a lot of random old uh, DDR1 or DDR2 or whatever this is. I don't know. I just went through my RAM collection and saw what fit. It might be DDR1. I think it's probably DDR1 era. Um, it, it's quite an old computer, um, clearly. Um, but this actually might be one of the most useful computers I've ever gotten from the trash. Um, and that's a, it, it's not, it's far from the best computer I've gotten from the trash. That goes to a uh, 2011 uh, 15-inch MacBook Pro that I got a couple years ago, um, even though that ended up dying not that long after I got it because of its uh, GPU. It was still a um, great computer. And even broken, I was able to sell the parts for hundreds of dollars, which is uh, saying quite a lot for a um, trash-picked computer. Versus something like this is basically worthless um, because it's so old and so random. Um, but I've actually found it extremely useful over the past couple of weeks. Um, mostly just because it's so thin. Oh, not It's not even particularly thin, but it, it's thin enough, um, and it's so light. It's as light as a modern Ultrabook, almost. Um, it's also quite compact. I think it has an 11-inch screen, but the bezels are very um, thin. And um, despite all that, it still has a lot of features you would expect from an older computer. So it has an optical disc, a VGA port, an Ethernet port, uh, dedicated audio in and out ports, etc. And an SD card reader that's compatible with SDHC uh, card slots, which was a bit of a shock um, because of its age. Um, so I've actually used it for a bunch of things since then, since, since I've gotten it. Um, it still has its original XP install on it. It's actually dual booted because I felt bad uh, deleting the original XP install. Um, it's completely clean, um, like factory install. It, it was... Um, it still had the recovery partition intact, so I, I ran that. Um, and it had a recovery partition, which for a 40 gig drive and a computer this age, I was kind of surprised by that. Um, I was expecting it to have a recovery CD that was long gone, but it was actually a partition. And I was actually able to, um, once I got, th this is Puppy Linux, it's dual booted with Puppy Tar 6.02, I believe is the version. It's Puppy Tar, um, I, uh, which, and I believe that's a puppy 6th generation. I don't remember the exact decimal points. Um, but it, it's dual booted with uh, puppy Linux. Um, and once I got puppy Linux up, I was able to uh, DD dump the recovery um, partition just so I have that archived because, I don't know, um, archiving useless old computer stuff is a bit of a hobby sometimes. Anyways, um, so why has this been useful? As I mentioned, it has a lot of I.O. And I've actually used a decent amount of that I.O. So I've done things like hook up um, a microphone to test it because my modern laptop doesn't have a microphone in port and I didn't feel like getting out my desktop. Um, and Puppy Linux is extremely responsive and comes with a lot of built-in utilities for basic things like that. Um, SD card reader. My modern laptop only has a micro SD card slot. I have a USB SD card reader. Um, but sometimes it's nice just to pop in an SD card, um, particularly if I'm going to do a big file transfer down from the NAV. And that's the third thing. It has this program called YASM. I keep tapping the screen to focus, um, and it keeps taking pictures because I'm using a different camera app. I'm very sorry. Hopefully it'll focus. Focus. Okay, it won't focus. I'm very sorry. Well, you're just going to have to take my word for this. This is a terrible video. I won't use this camera app again. Anyways, um, so it has this thing called YASM um, built into Puppy Linux, and it lets you mount a Samba share as a native directory in Linux. I'm sure you could do this with the command line, but this tool makes it really easy, and that's really nice because if I want to do a large transfer from the NAS to a USB storage device or an SD card, I can do that. Um, or I can also upload a file to the NAS, and I've done it for that a couple times. Um, thirdly, it's running a modern version of Linux, so I can SSH into my servers and NASs and run tasks on them that way. Um, 
and it also has um, I.O., like uh, um, optical drive, so I could burn DVDs and CDs. I haven't done that yet, but I could see myself doing that. Um, occasionally, I work on older computers where it's helpful to be able to burn CDs and DVDs. Um, and it has an Ethernet port, which I have a USB to Ethernet adapter for my modern laptop. Um, but sometimes it's nice just to have a system where I can just plug it into Ethernet and go and troubleshoot something. Um, and Puppy Linux has a modern enough version of Chrome available um, that I'm able to do stuff like that. So, um, this laptop also has a functional battery, which is shocking given its age. It's not a particularly long life, it's probably about an hour, but I haven't left the house with it because that's not what I use it for. Um, and it's enough to move it from place to place and then plug it in in the new location. Um, and it's been useful. I've got, again, you can't see the screen because this won't focus, but I've, I've got the terminal here um, where I can type. Um, I've got YASM up, and I've got the uh, my NAS here that's mounted natively. And because it's mounted natively, I can I can just access it uh, in the terminal or in in anywhere anywhere I can access files. Um, so like right here, I'm running a big task um, of uploading a file to the NAS. Um, and, and this is just the kind of thing that I use this for, and I can just leave it running for hours, and because it doesn't have any other uses, no one's going to interfere with it. Um, and it's really a perfect laptop for that. I have several other old laptops, um, uh, both of which are faster than this. I, I, I don't, I've had stuff that's slower than this, but... Um, anything else that was slower than this has since either been taken apart for the motherboard, given away, or thrown out. Um, but, or, or, or um, sold. And nothing slower than this has really been sold. Some Core 2 Duo stuff has been sold. I, I still have two, two Core 2 Duo laptops that I also got for free. Um, but, but both of those are much more traditional form factor laptops. Both have a 13 inch or 15. One of them might even have a 15-inch screen. Um, they're, they're both much larger laptops. They're much heavier. Um, one of them has a working battery. One of them doesn't. Um, but neither of them are as convenient to use as this just for simple tasks. Um, and... Um, yeah, this is, was just a very random video about how about the surprising ways that a seemingly useless laptop can be more useful than faster laptops just because of its convenient form factor, wide array of I.O., um, and the fact that it is running Puppy Linux, which I highly recommend if you want to try to repurpose an old laptop. A final interesting thing of note... Uh, so I hadn't had experience with Sony Vio laptops before this, but I had thought they had a reputation for being well-built if quirky. I mean, this one seems well-built enough, and it's definitely quirky. It's quite compact, particularly for the era, and it ha still has all of the I.O. you would expect from the era, and it was very expensive when new, which is also something that Vio laptops have a reputation for. If I Google this model, it seems to have been about $2,000 when new. But um, I've just noticed this curious thing um, in my time with this laptop. Th th there's no screws holding the front bezel on, and there's also no screws holding the LCD on, so I can just pick up the LCD. Um, it's pretty great. It's, um, it's fine. It, it's not like it's going to cause any issues, I don't think, but it's just bizarre and um, kind of poorly built in a way. Again, it shouldn't cause any issues. It should be fine, but it's just... It's almost in the interest of making the bezel quite slim, particularly for the era. I mean, by modern standards, this is not particularly slim, but by, by the standards of back then, this is positively tiny. Um, they, they were like, you know what? We're going to get rid of all of the screws and just hold it on by weak plastic clips. It's quite bizarre. Anyways, uh, that's all. Bye.